Hi guys, I'm MJ and you're watching MJ's Tech Talk, the place where I talk tech. And today, I'm gonna give you a full tour of my home studio. That's right, I'll show you my office space and I'll show you where I do my filming. It's been about two months since I moved into my new place and this place gives me an opportunity to turn one bedroom into a full-time YouTube studio. This is great for me because I don't have to worry about tearing down equipment over and over. It was kind of a hassle to lug everything out, put it up, and then tear it back down, put it away. Sometimes you have to do that, but I'm really excited that I have this one room that I can do all my filming and all my editing. show you the tech that drives MJ's Tech Talk coming at you now. So when you first walk in, you'll see a bulletin board or whiteboard where I write down information, my goals, notable accomplishments. I have my business cards posted up here. Closet slides back open and I use only one side of the closet. But on the top shelf, you'll see I have some product boxes, camera lenses, stuff like that. Uh, that big gray box. I have a case for my Roninette, which is super heavy duty. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, this guy right here is a basically a light globe I got from Ikea. I was gonna set it up on my desk, but I'm not sure if there's really space for it. It seems like it'll kind of dominate the space, but it's super cool and it's like a, like a spear-shaped light. So I'll see if I can find a place for it somewhere else in, around the house. These back here are a white drop and a chroma key green backdrop. This is just a bunch of office supplies, things like that. This is a spare case for my MacBook Air, which has a ton of stickers on it. You've probably seen it in some of my other videos. This shelf is like a lot of other storage. This is kind of like a junk drawer, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. Things to clean my lenses with. Actual prints of photos that I've taken. Uh, this is the kit I use to um, do my manuscript on my desk. Up against the wall, you'll see a couple of tripods. This one has a, a head on it right now to mount a cell phone. And this is my go-to tripod, the Travis three-legged thing. To the right, you'll see another shelf. It's like a floating shelf. I think it comes from Ikea as well. And then you got hooks where it hangs on to your existing closet. The top row of this shelf, you'll find my drone, which is inside of this case, a DJI Maverick Pro. This is the little thing that holds your cell phone when you're flying, and it can also extend out and hold a tablet. This is a pile of lenses. I have a kit lens here, also a bunch of lens hoods, stuff like that for shooting into the sun. There's a case that is a soft case for my camera. This is a Nifty 50, my absolute favorite lens. So it's just kind of like a drop zone for a camera gear. Below that, you will find my backpack for traveling. You'll see I have a couple of lights here. They have clips on them and they're basically clip lights that you can clip anywhere. And they really come in handy when I just need another set of lights. Also down there, you'll see a couple of clamps. And these guys I use for clamping stuff to poles or stands or whatever, what have you. But yeah, that's my closet. It's a bit of an organized mess. But the good thing about it is you can just tuck it away. To my right, you'll find the backdrop setup. This is where I shoot Two Minute Tuesdays and I also take portraits of friends. But sometimes I move it around lengthwise of the room to give myself a longer focal length. This is a light stand. It has a LED panel on the inside. This is the director's chair. This is what I like to sit in when I'm doing too many Tuesdays. It gets me up nice and high. I sit in front of the black backdrop and it all looks kind of cool to me. Next up is a boom arm. So this arm is just Amazon Essential brand. I got it on Amazon. I got this converter so that I can mount video mic go to the end of it. And I have this cable that is 25 feet and I connect one end to the microphone and the other end to my camera. Directly beside it is the is the LED light panel. If you look on the inside, you can see the panel and the reflective material. 
and then this velcros to the outside to give it a soft box effect. I did an unboxing of this and this kit's turned out pretty good. I'm able to get two LED lights from the kit as well as the stands, fuser panels, light box, all that. To the right of that is my art. So this is an Andy Warhol circa 1981. It's a pretty cool piece of art. Uh, it's from his pop art series. He did a series of dollar signs and the famous camel soup and a lot of pop art around that time. This dollar sign is one of my favorites and it's my favorite color. To the right of that is my Ikea shelves. And these guys were a passion project. I mean, I got together with a friend and we put them together, but it's kind of tough to make sure they're level. So they end up being great floating shelves at the end. So it kind of keeps the white theme of my office going. Up top, you have the Black Panther, which is my favorite comic, but it's a retro version and I really like the look of it. In the middle, you have a couple old iPhone cases and these guys are art on their own. Next up, there's a clapper board, kind of Hollywood style board where when you're shooting movies or you're shooting long length film, you can kind of use it as a sound and a visual marker to mark between the two segments within the video. On the next shelf, there's a Vizio soundbar. It has only one cable, plugs in for power, and it can connect via Bluetooth. In front of that are my two Model 3s. These guys are my babies, and they're both red. <laughs> uh, and below that is where it all goes down. This is my desk. I'll do a brief overview and then I'm gonna sit down and give you guys a closer look at what's going on. Or the 2019 iMac and it's mounted on the wall. I used a Vivo stand to mount it. These legs are not removable. I just went with a stand that allowed me to mount it with the leg, so it worked out. Yeah, I can control the color of the light strips. Change it maybe to red, yellow, green, purple. Let's leave it on red for now. Also on my desk is a LED desk lamp, which is capable of wirelessly charging devices. This is one of my favorite things in the office, which is a bamboo plant. It is real alive, pretty easy to take care of. You just fill up the cup with water like once a month and it stays alive. Also, I have the Amazon Alexa Echo Dot third gen. It was on sale on Amazon recently, so I picked it up. Uh, sitting on the wireless charger is my 10S Max. The Apple Magic mouse and keyboard, I think it's like gen two. And to the left of that is my 2017 MacBook Air. Clamped to the desk is a five foot articulating arm. I'm able to mount my camera or my phone at a certain angle so I can get lay flat photos on the white part of the desk. And as you can see, it's pretty minimal. There's not a lot to, to my desk setup. Everything is pretty much wireless and can be like gathered up and put away. So I can have a lot of space there to do other things if I want. Another favorite part of my office is my chair. So it's a rolling desk chair. I cannot remember the brand at all, but I will post it in the description or flash it above this video so you guys can see it. But it's a really mid-century modern style. It has wood grain on the back and it has like white vegan leather. And I'll give you guys a quick shot underneath the desk. You don't see a bunch of cables or anything hanging around. Pretty well managed down there. There's a smart plug off in the distance that kind of controls everything, but other than that, you pretty much see nothing, no cables. Everything is either wireless or just really well managed with a cable track that's attached underneath the desk. We're gonna take a closer look at my desk. Let me get on this side of the camera so I can get a little closer and show you guys what's going on here. This is the 27 inch 5K iMac. Uh, we can check out some of the specs if you guys like. I'll go here, click on About Mac, and it'll pop up. I'm running the Mac OS. Mojave, Mojave, Mojave. Comment down below if you know how to pronounce that. It has the 5K 27 inch retina display. It's from 2019. It has three gigahertz i9 processor, eight gigabytes of memory, which I'm definitely gonna upgrade because it has the expansion slots. Um, and it has the Raiden Pro graphics. So yeah, that guy's pretty, pretty solid. So, so far, it's been pretty great for my editing workflow. It's definitely sped things up when making content and uh, uploading raw files for raw photo editing. I usually run Final Cut Pro to do all my editing. I also use a lot of Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom, which I absolutely love. Over here, I have my 2017 MacBook Air, and it's been completely wiped. I transported everything from this guy over to the iMac, and I went ahead and rebooted it. I think that I'm either gonna sell it or I'm gonna identify in the next couple weeks like what is my need for having a laptop and then I'll decide if I wanna just keep it for on the go or not. The thing about it is it has a decent resale value. It doesn't have the power of an iMac or a MacBook Pro. 
but it's super light and super portable and it's great for college students. Next up, I have the, the wireless Mac keyboard and mouse. These guys are awesome. They're totally wireless and I have a, a mouse pad because I don't like the sound of it breaking on my desk. I showed you guys the articulating arm in the overview video and this guy's super cool. I'm able to either switch this out for a base to mount a camera or I can mount my phone and it will look straight down into the desk and I can use it to make lay flats. Sometimes I articulate it in a different way so I can have it facing me and I just use it as something like a, a tripod or a way to shoot video. This guy is one of my Model 3s, which is my absolute favorite thing in my office. I keep two of them up here. Um, I'm on the Model 3 team, so I really love it. And I was able to get two of these guys, so I put them up there as just office decorations. Yeah, I also use a smart plug to control and power my devices. I can use it through my phone or I can use the Amazon Echo to control the lights in the room. Hey Alexa, turn off my office. Okay. And everything goes out. Hey Alexa, turn on my office. Okay. And there it is. The lamp probably has to be turned back on manually. LED light strip plugs straight into, plugs into the smart plug. So when I turn off the smart plug, Everything on that power strip goes out. Right now, I don't have a whole lot of peripherals. Mostly everything's wireless. When I charge these up, I put them at my charging station and charge them there, or I just use these ports. This guy right here is pretty cool. So if you know, the ports on the iMac are at the back. So if you want to access it, you kind of have to tilt it or turn it or like reach behind. But using the Satoshi attachment, it brings all my ports to the front. So they're easy to access. Right now I have an SD card here. There's three USB slots and one USB-C slot. Pretty much quite a few ports up to where they're more convenient space. Also, this guy's mounted on the wall. It can tilt a little bit and it can also come like completely forward or backwards depending on what you want. I kind of like it pushed back and out of the way. For this iMac, the stand is not removable. Like the Apple display that I made a video on before, but I was able to find a Vivo mount that allows me to use the stand and still be able to attach it to a wall mount, so that's pretty cool. So coming underneath here on the little shelf is a portable solid state drive by WB, and it has two terabytes. So right now it's pretty much enough to store my videos, but eventually I'm gonna want something bigger. And this is pretty much my normal setup for making my YouTube videos. It's the E5600 Nikon and the Rode VideoMark Go, and I have it right now attached to my Ronin Nest, which I was trying to use for the handheld video. But this guy's super cool, and I'm definitely gonna do like an impressions video of the Ronin Nest and show you guys some of the footage I was able to capture with it. It has a lot of modes, but I won't get into all of that right now because it's kind of a video in itself. But yeah, this is it. Thank you so much for checking out my minimal mat office space. Peace.